Yeah, sure. When it comes to animating, in Flamingo Animator, at start it, can be no easy task, but after, a while you can get used to it very easily. Before animating or anything, we gonna make some sprites for the character, so we could actually animate it. For this we are gonna use Ibis Paint X2. Draw the sprites, but any drawing app with the possibility to export transparent files work too. One thing to remember is that more separated body parts are made, more harder it will be to add the bones but you will have the possibility to animate better. I already did the sprites before editing this video, but you can work harder on the sprites to make it more of your like. As you can see here, the art and color are the same layer, but you can still put them both in a folder and then export it. Also if you want, you can actually do more sprites for the face like one with the eyes open and closed. Also, it's more recommended to order the sprites in the order you want to be it, but if you won't do that, you will gonna order them in Flamingo which, trust me, it's so much harder. Now open up Flamingo Animator, make a new character using the plus button in your bottom of your screen, name it how you want. Choose the Make Skeleton option. Add all the sprites using the plus button in the bottom of your screen. It takes a while to open up UD. If you can, add all the sprites directly into the app to speed up the progress. More sprites you use, it will take more to load and according to the quality of your phone. Skip it to 18 if you didn't made more faces. Select the merge option that is in the middle of bottom screen so you can merge all the layers to animate it. When you have the option selected, drag the sprite selected into the other one and click accept to merge it. As you can see, I can switch. Now the mouse using the button nest is next to the merge button. Now it's time to add the bones. Press the right arrow at the upper screen to go into the bones section. Now it's time to create the skeleton. Create a bone that is not selected to any sprites, so you can rotate the character much more easier. Now, let's actually make bones that are attached to the sprites, starting with the body. I recommend to watch first the order I did for the bones then to do it later yourself. Also make sure you test continuously if you putted the bone correctly so it won't look like the arms or legs are sticking out of the body. I like to make the eyes and the mouth connected so I can just move the face easier. Sadly, I do not have that much time to explain more, but I will post every button in their job plus a timeline on the animation so you can see how I exactly I do most of my animations.
all for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I worked really hard on this so I don't mind if you will like and subscribe, it will be a great help and you can always change your mind.